right, this is my setup for a lumbar puncture as well as a history and explanation of the procedure. So as far as setup goes for this procedure, we have a lumbar puncture tray, which we use. I've got a 25 gauge needle, just some alcohol prep pads, some 1% lidocaine to help up with numbing, as well as a chloroprep, a marker, and a hemostat, all for marking and sterility. And then just that 10 cc syringe, everything else that we will need, all of the tubes and stuff that we send to um, lab are all in here in the tray. Um, if the doctor need anything else, I would just get that, get that for them as we are doing the procedure. Um, so as far as getting some history from the patient, I would just be asking them, you know, what's bringing them in. If they have any allergies to anything that they are aware of. Um, if they've had any prior surgery, if they know if what we're looking for when we're drawing out this fluid, if they are getting some tests done. Um, it's a pretty simple explanation <coughs> or history getting. Um, and then, you know, always just explaining that risk of there's a small chance of infection since we are poking through the skin. Um, we keep everything as sterile as possible to help minimize that risk so it's not, um, it's a very minimal chance of happening. Um, as far as the explanation for the patient, um, the patient will be prone on the table with a bolster under their abdomen. So I just have an extra pillow over here that I would place under their abdomen. Um, and then once we get the doctor in here, we'll clean off your skin. Um, he's going to use some local numbing. So that's the lidocaine to help numb up the area in your lumbar spine, so the lower back. Um, once you're all numbed up under the use of fluoro, he will be um, inserting a needle into the area of interest. Um, and then it's kind of a waiting game as to as fast as to the fluid comes out of your spinal canal. Uh, every patient is different. Um, the table might move around a little bit to help with the um, momentum of that fluid coming out. And then um, you shouldn't feel it at anything at all through this procedure. If you do, just speak up and we will do our best to make you as comfortable as possible. And then once the doctor has as much fluid as he would like out, um, we just pull that needle out and we send that fluid to lab for whatever is to be done with it, according to your doctor. Um, you know, I'd ask if they had any other questions and I would answer them. Um, I believe that is it.